Chapter 19 The days passed and the sun rose and set and rose and set again and again. Sometimes the father came home and sometimes he did not. Edward's ears became a soggy and he didn't care. His sweater had almost become unraveled and it didn't bother him. He was hugged half to death and it felt good. In the evenings at the hands of Bryce and the ends of the twine, Edward danced and danced. One month passed and then two and then three. Sarah Ruth got worse. In the fifth month, she refused to eat. And in the sixth month, she began, she began to cough up blood. Her breathing became ragged and uncertain, as if she were trying to remember in between breaths what to do, what breathing was. Breathe, honey, Bryce stood over her and said. Breathe, thought Edward from the deep, deep insides of his well of his arms. Please, please breathe. Bryce stopped leaving the house. He sat at home all day and he held Sarah Ruth in his lap and rocked her back and forth and sang to her in the bright morning in September. Sarah Ruth stopped breathing. Oh no, said Bryce. Oh honey, take it, take a little breath, please. Edward had fallen out of Sarah's arms that night before and she had not asked for him again. So face down on the floor, arms over his head, Edward listened as Bright Bryce wept. He listened as his father came home and shouted at Bryce. He listened as his father wept. You can't cry, Bryce shouted. You got no right to cry. You never even loved her. You don't know nothing about love. I loved her, said the father. I loved her. I loved her too, thought Edward. I loved her and now she's gone. How could this be, he wondered. How could he bear to live in a world without Sarah Ruth? The yelling between the father and the son continued, and then there was a terrible moment when the father insisted that Sarah Ruth belonged to him that she was his girl and his baby, and that he was taking her to be buried. She ain't yours, Bryce screamed. You can't take her. She ain't yours. But the father was bigger and stronger, and he prevailed. He wrapped Sarah Ruth in a blanket and carried her away. The small house became very quiet. Edward could hear Bryce moving around, muttering to himself, and then, finally, the boy picked up Edward. Come on, Jangles, Bryce said. We're leaving. We're going to Memphis.